Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants. We're out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this pre-owned Acer model Dynamic 29 by 60 g heavy duty series engine lathe. This particular machine happens to be new in the year 2013, as well as the fact that it covers both inch and metric threading. We're going to go ahead and show you how this machine runs, performs, operates, and do a general inspection on the items that come with the machine and the features of the machine that come standard. That being said, go ahead Frankie, let's see what we got. Let's start the party. Twenty-five RPM. Perfect. Okay, you'll notice there's a spindle speed range with 12 changes ranging from 25 going up to 1200 RPM. That's 214 RPM. Showing you the speed chart here. The machine's equipped with the new all two axis digital readout. Foot brake. It's 53 RPM. The machine has a two speed tail stock, one to one, four to one. Inch threading, metric threading. 0 0.5 to 14 millimeter on the metric threads. 860. We're going to high range, 860. That's 1200 RPM. Very nice break. Thanks for pointing that out. Okay, what we wanted to do is run through some general spindle speeds. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you some of the feeds, as well as the two axis power rapid traverse. On the inch threading, there's 48 changes from 2 to 56 TPI. Okay, feeds. Inch feeds, metric feeds. I'd like to point out why I'm up here, the graduated dial in inch as well as in metric. Power rapid traverse, longitudinal, towards the headstock, away from the headstock. Okay, we're at 420. Go back one more time if you will. I'm gonna show them this cross slide. The machine's equipped with the four-way tool post. Very nice. You'll see that there's a lot of oil that's getting and introduced to all of the metal working surfaces. We like to focus on the lubrication aspect here.
Okay, sounds good. We're ahead of schedule. That looks good. Five minutes, ten seconds. Okay, that being said, we're going to go ahead and show you the inside of the headstock panel area. It has a 15 horsepower main drive motor. I hand that to you for a second. Sure. Thanks, man. We just put some new belts on it yesterday. Okay, you'll notice that we've got the machine locked out. We're going in a very safe fashion here. Here's the change gears. Showing you the four and an eighth inch spindle bore. Here's the new belts. I'm going down to the 15 horsepower main drive motor. <laughs> Can you get that angle? All right, perfect, thanks. Okay, moving along, we'd like to show you the inside of the electrical panel as well. Okay, very good. We'd like to show you the inside of the electrical. It's real nice, clean, and sanitary. Okay, moving off the back side of the machine, we're just going to show you the rear of the ways, the carriage, as well as the fact that it has the Caterpillar apron track. Right here is the Caterpillar, back side of the tail stock. Okay, six minutes and 35 seconds ahead of schedule. Rear shot of the ways. D111 camlock spindle. Okay. Real nice sanitary machine. By the way, the serial number happens to be uh, 1308. Stamped right here in the bedways. Can you hit that with the flashlight, Elvis? Get the focus going. Perfect. Thank you, bro. 1308. Okay, taking the tooling from the right to left. We're starting off with the rear splash guard, a follower rest. We have an oversized steady rest. This happens to go from approximately 7.5 up to 15 inch, standard with the roller bearings. Nice oversized steady rest. Here's the standard items that come with it, with the infamous red toolbox. Dead center, handles, touch up paint, various assorted sundries. Okay, moving on, we have a 24 inch T-slotted D111 direct mount face plate. We're gonna go ahead and include this with the machine. Now on the two chucks, you've got an option here of either a 15 inch three jaw, BTC, with the two piece reversible jaws, thickness on this chuck happens to be uh, five inch, and the whole ID is 5.250. Okay, so nice looking uh, BTC chuck. Hit me with some light on here, will you, bro? With your flashlight. This here happens to be a 20 inch four jaw. The brand is an HD dash Yama, Y A M A H H T. Okay, the hole on the inside is six and a quarter. The thickness is four and a quarter. And this is set up with one piece jaws. Right on, man. Okay, I'll take that clipboard back. Okay, Oop. good hands. So if we sell this machine, we can buy a new tripod. Is that the story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Coolio. Um, okay, the machine is currently set up with the new all two axis digital readout. Make sure it doesn't tip over again. A 15 inch four jaw. Pick your poison, one of the two. It has the T-slotted 24 inch face plate, has the standard items that come with it, the oversight steady rest, the follower rest, the four-way tool post, the coolant system, the halogen work light, the number five horse taper uh, quill of the tailstock, the two-speed tailstock, the power out the traverse, the feeds, the metric uh, inch, metric threading. Uh, what did we miss? Has a remove, uh, has a rear style get in from the rear uh, chip pan, and it's a one-piece cast iron design. Okay, again, it's a 15 horsepower uh, main drive motor, and it's currently wired at 440 volts. Okay, that about covers it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Good video. Okay, so if there's any questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at Machinery Consultants. 
This is Bill Wilson Jr. At 801-531-9500. We're just a phone call away. Feel free to click on our, our website at www.machineryconsultants.com. In the meanwhile, if there's any other machines that we can help you with, let us know. We'd be happy to assist with any questions you may have. Until next time, be happy, be healthy. Thanks again. Have a great day. Peace.